What's up, wrestling fans? Many of us the other day, we talked about this. Many of us wanted to know why it was that the the Hart Foundation was not going into the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, and we'd, we'd come to find out that they planned on putting the entire Hart Foundation in there, kind of loosely in, um, involving Owen Hart in that. And it sounded like a kind of a blah thing. Uh, okay, throw that in there, I suppose. And also as a way possibly to get around Owen Hart going in or something like that. And as we know, Owen Hart's widow has always had issues with WWE as far as this, threatening lawsuits and things like that. So there, there allegedly she sent a cease and desist, JD from New York style, just like the cease and desist he sent me over comments his ex made and, and over just comedy on YouTube. She sent a cease and desist to WWE. And then they apparently thought, um, you know, let's just back out of this. And that is why apparently they're saying that D-Generation X replaced the Hart Foundation in the WWE Hall of Fame because Owen Hart's widow sent a cease and desist to the WWE, uh, making sure that he is not involved in that Hart Foundation induction whatsoever. Knowing that Jim the Anvil Nyhart has passed away and the only remaining member is Bret Hart, and Bret Hart's already been inducted in the Hall of Fame at this time. It seemed they didn't want to go there. And uh, they backed off and ended up switching gears to D-Generation X. At least that's the rumor going on behind the scenes. And um, tons of legal action started uh, under was underway on the um, side of uh, the Hart's, or rather Owen Hart's widow. What's her name, Martha? Forget. Um... So that was a major issue. So they, they just decided this, this ain't worth it at all. So they backed right off of that. And there you have it. That's it right now for as far as the news, is, as far as that goes. And, uh, you know, the whole thing to me is is retarded. Uh, you know, I mean, you can't put a guy in the Hall of Fame. and But I get it. You know what I mean? Y y you understand, you know, that this guy, she lost her husband all because of wrestling. She blames them. It's a vendetta at this point. So I understand her. I'm not mad at her. I think after all this time, you would realize that your husband, Owen, loved this company and would enjoy it, but I think she sees the company as why he died, because it is why he died. It was an accident, but it's still kind of why he died, and that and he was taken from her, so you can understand her passion and anger towards the company that she just can't let go. You know, it's similar to anybody else who has an anger or something towards something similar. It's, it's even like, look at me with religion, right? When I was an eight-year-old, and I'm not trying to suck me into this, I'm just trying to give you an example. When my father died and I was eight years old, and I was praying, because that's what I was told to do, was, oh, you pray and stuff. And I was praying to keep my dad alive in the middle of the night when I, when he was taken to the hospital out of nowhere, and I had no idea what was going on. And I prayed all night long, and I was worried and stayed up, and all this stuff about religion and God loves you and all this fake stuff that my mother and the church indoctrinated me into. And then, and you know, they didn't, they, maybe they didn't teach me the right way or whatever, fine. But either way, it was in my head that, oh, this is a great thing. And then he's dead. And it's like, well, I blame, I blamed religion I, I, in, a, in a way. It makes no sense, but I did it. I blame, I said, well, I hate this. I'm never going to do this again. I never want to ever be in a church again. I never want to be whatever. And to this day, I have a negative outlook on it. And you could see why I can relate to her that she would have a negative outcome and feeling against the WWE. And as fans, we're selfish. We saw Owen lo doing what he loved. And all we know is that he would have loved to be in the Hall of Fame and that this is what he would like to do. But what we don't know is the suffering that she's been through and she's holding this sort of vendetta. And I get it, but it has been a while. You would think at some point that somebody could let go of this. Much like for years, I wouldn't go to churches, I wouldn't go to funeral things, I wouldn't go to these all these things. But years ago, I, I, I went back to a church. I went back to church when somebody had something going on in a church. I stopped saying, oh, I'll never go to that church again. You know, at one point I said to myself, well, it's not really why he died or not why he died. So, okay. And I went and I stopped holding this vendetta to going to church and somebody had something go on at a church and I didn't say no, I went because I got over it and I realized the bigger picture. Will she ever get over it and realize the bigger picture is the question and it seems like that answer is no. 
she hates this. She hates you. She hates the WWE. And to her, it took her husband away. Degeneration X going to the Hall of Fame. China finally gets in the Hall of Fame, which I think is cheap. They should have let this lady in when she was begging them to forgive her and bring her back in some form. And they weren't ready. And in the end, it's not their fault that she died. But, you know, they did the same thing with Vader. And it's not like she didn't want to be there. She really, really wanted to be there. And uh, to be honest, I love DX. I love the first in, uh, incarnation of DX. And I even love the second one, of course, with the with the uh, New Age Outlaws joining and everything. But, uh, you know, I love DX. So that'll, that'll be really cool. I think the Howard Foundation should still go in at some point, some way, whether it's just Brett and... Nightheart, I get they were the original, you know, Jimmy Hart even. Uh, but if you want to bring in the, the Attitude Era Hart Foundation as well with the British Bulldog and Brett, I think they all should go in too. So you know, unfortunately, but without Owen, you know, why would you do it without Owen? That'd be horrible. It's not right. And I don't know what else to say about this. I'll see you guys tonight live after WWE Raw, but that's the news right now. Thanks to V-Man James and J Greg Hill going from two to five, and Vito V2 of Doom, the newest patrons. On patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. You guys are keeping me doing these videos by donating live on the show and by being patrons. So if you guys want to join the Raw Review tonight and you guys want to donate live, that helps the show keep going. So I'll see you for that. Otherwise, uh, jump on Patreon. Get 30 hours of bonus content and uh, all that stuff for 5 bucks a month. And uh, you can even do a dollar a month. Some people are doing 50 bucks a month. And uh, that's it, man. I'll see you guys tonight after Raw. Here's some other videos popping up. A shit you might have missed, like the Corey Graves story update. That's available now, too. Check out the Corey Graves uh, stories update. See you tonight after Raw.